you don't want to illegally and unlawfully put her hands on me the last time I was here. Right, like, you know, I, I just graduated today, and I don't need this outcome to go any worse than what it is already going. Oh, there we go. Now, what, what are the oblig- what are the uh, charges they have on you? What's what's the um, what no charges, charge? No charges. I have not committed a crime, so they have no charges. What are they accusing you of doing? Uh, that I don't know, because neither of them has a warrant in their hands. And I'm pretty sure that the ones that will probably be waiting for me downstairs don't have a warrant in their hands. Oh my God, you're really looking for this name. I'm not looking for anything. Ask Damien. One of them was like, oh, we're waiting for you. Come on, man. I'm not stupid. Well, that's not what the guy said. Ask Damien. Damien was in the elevator. Bring it down. Bring it down. In this one with the back and forth with the judge about the newspaper, okay, your smart brain should have asked them if announcing it elsewhere and throughout the other sources that you announced the freaking name change on. Okay. Like I said. It's, it's continue. Okay, it's so continue. tomorrow you're not going to go post it on one more newspaper. Tomorrow you're going to go post it on two more newspapers. That way you got three. You still there, bro? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Curry, <laughs> oh, I know. That's an animal. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to one. That's right. That's how we're going. You won't be sitting behind a desk for long. Yeah. He'll be in court. He'll be in court. Yeah. Are you going to work with that? <laughs> okay, okay. All right, just making sure. This is mine. And don't yeah. say nothing for him. He um, probably don't say a word. Hello, Judge. Yeah, I'm here. All right. All right. What was the propaganda? What did they have against him? I think we lost it. Hold on one sec. Hello? Yeah. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's yeah, right. I'm lost. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was the uh, the 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 marshals? Uh, excuse me, the sheriff deputies let me go. Well, what were they trying to detain you on unlawfully? Um, the the warrants and and uh, my uncle was in the elevator with me as I was going up to the court hearing. And uh, one of them, who he didn't, he didn't really detain me. He was just part of the crowd. One of them came in, then another one came in, and then two more came in. So the one that was part of the crowd had told me in front of my uncle, he's like, Mr. Delgado, but I didn't answer him because I, I didn't want to respond by that name. You know what I mean? Yes. So, uh, so I didn't answer him, and he looked at me. He said, uh, by the way, we do, have, we do have probable cause to take you after the hearing. I mean, we can take you now but I know you're not going to really go along with that. So I'll stand by if you do. If I may, D.W. Yes. Go ahead. Hey, this is Marshal Muriel. I was, uh, I was present when, the, uh, when that uh, officer made that statement. 
And I had my oath with me. I'm just waiting on my ID, but um, I was waiting for, you know, for the handcuffs to be put on them because uh, they just don't have any jurisdiction to put it on them. There is no victim. They need to understand that for a crime to exist, there must be an injured party. And that's their law. Exactly. Now, listen, Pete. And I know that my nephew didn't injure anyone, so he's good. Yeah, well, this is what you need to understand here. If there's any more confrontation, you let me know. But have you guys had the hearing yet? Yeah, the hearing was uh, was taken, and um, he denied he denied every single every single request. Well, we all knew that was going to happen. I did want to take this opportunity, uh, Judge, to uh, uh, communicate with you. You got my uh, phone number. Uh, I believe Nate uh, texted you or Facebooked you the uh, number. Yes, sir. I got it. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and I'd like to have yours uh, for future references. That way I can contact you directly. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll text that information to you in a bit here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put Nate back on. All right. Hello, Judge. Yes. All right. So yeah, it appears that we were that we're good. You know, I was just uh, I was waiting. You know, I was waiting. Especially after what one of the sheriff deputies told me in the elevator. So I figured, okay, they're gonna be waiting for me. One of them was blocking the door, and then a second one came in, um, which was a female. I told my mother to write her last name down. Because she was actually one of uh, one of the sheriff deputies that uh, unlawfully detained me on the last court hearing. So uh, when she came into the court hearing, I told my mother to write her last name down because I remembered her face, and she remembered me as well. Yeah, just remember when you come into these type of situations, make sure you have witnesses, make sure you have recording devices, um, audio, video. It doesn't matter. More the merrier. Um, if you can't get a hold of me to put you on live, or at least get a hold of me to consult. Um, we have a community on standby, um, so you're more you're taking care of. Oh, judge, get 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 a kick of this. When a court hearing started, I challenged the jurisdiction of Mr. McHale, her her uh, the opposing attorney, because I told the judge that he has no legislative authority um, to to even step foot in the courtroom or practice law. The judge asked me what was my standing. I said uh, on it. I said the the United States Supreme Court case. Um, so he, he denied that. He overruled that. Also, he did receive the papers for uh, his oath and bond. He also denied that motion because he told me that a, uh, a bond does not exist. I objected to that, and I told him that a, when a public official is sworn in, they had to be bonded. And I pointed at the opposing attorney, and I told the judge that uh, Mr. McHale, who is her attorney, is also bonded. So he rejected that motion. And he also rejected the motion of uh, the right to record the proceedings in the courtroom, even after the case laws that were applied in that in that paper. So I, I, I knew I was in it for the battle, man. And, and like I told you, my friend um, that, that I went to the wedding with, uh, you know, he was there in the courtroom and he told me ahead of time, the judge is going to be a hard ass, you know, but I, I definitely made my point across. And I didn't, besides his overruling and, and, and denial for the motions, um, I got him to, to state on the record that he was acting on his oath, which in reality, he wasn't. Yeah. Now, you got to keep in mind that these, these clowns, these public officials, that they, they swear to the oath to uphold the Constitution, you know, you, you just witness firsthand that they do not, do not uphold the Constitution. They do what they want. These yeah. are corrupt officials that we must hold accountable. Uh, like I said, I'll walk you through some processes as far as uh, that's concerned. But as long as you're safe, your well-being is safe, um, and nothing else is further going to happen to you, uh, that's that's a blessing. It's all yeah. That was that was definitely that was definitely a good thing. Like I said, I was expecting it, but the outcome of this, you know, it turned out like I wanted. They didn't bother me, which is cool. You know, I didn't I didn't make a big commotion. I was just prepared for for any sheriff deputies that were uh, that were planning on waiting on me so so they can detain me. Yeah. Listen, we're just right down the road, so it wouldn't be hard. All right. I'll uh, I'll, I'll give you a call later. I have to get ready for my mother's graduation. All right. You have a good day. All right, Judge. Thank you very much for your time. This is Judge D.W. with Rob.
information. We'll keep you posted on what goes on with Marshal Nate Degato. Um, thanks to you for everybody who's out there with their support um, through this crisis. I yield.